The keyword I used is best earphones 2023. I specifically didn't say earbuds because I wanted to see if Google is going to correct me. And it did so in pretty much the same fashion on both the standard and SGE version or AI version of the search. Now let's keep just temporarily what actually it's put out over here and let's see how far below we have the organic results. Obviously the organic results on the new AI version or experience are preceded by the actual AI generation and then ads, which we do have ads over here. They're different, but also presented in a slightly different way. Just comparing the actual results. So what we have here, we have um, CNET and Gadget. Uh, then we have people also asked here in the new AI version, people, PPA is pushed slightly lower, which happens sometimes on various different SERPs. It's not a big or questionable difference. Then we have CNN, uh, what high five, uh, here's the Verge, what high five and the Verge swapped places. Over here, it's not unusual. It happens all the time in SERPs. Then we have Tech Raider and Android Police, and these two also swapped places. Google is testing user generated signals in SERPs um, constantly, so this doesn't surprise me at all. What is not surprising but noticeable is that Google is showing the same FAQ on the same results. So here we have Tech Raider and What Hi Fi, and also in the normal SERPs, What Hi Fi and Tech Raider do have their FAQ schema showed up. And here before we have the second page, which obviously is infinite scroll, we have some ads um, over here, which are Google Shopping. So that all looks pretty similar with the big, huge difference, especially for CNET, that their content is pushed very, very, very much lower. Now, when it comes to just focusing on the generative AI, experience or SGE search so generative experience. What I see here, we have on the right here, Forbes twice linking to the same article. However, if we just copy this link address, we can see that it actually points to a different part of this article. So this one here starts with more expensive models of wireless earbuds, etc., And this one here, starts with the charging case that stores etc etc so it even though it's the same article which might be slightly misleading and surprising why is that the same article highlighted here twice it leads to different parts of that article now there's a lot more sources here and it becomes very clear what these sources here are so when we click on the show more results or expand it becomes apparent that Google is showing us this, the resources or sources where it found specific information. So it tells us that all of these pages here, there's five of them, are used to generate this top part. So if we look at that, this top part is generated based on those five sources. And then for each one of those, so sound quality is generated based on the information from HongiCat. Design and fit is generated based on the information from Sweetwater, Battery and, and Life and ch Charging Case, from Forbes, etc., etc. Now, if we scroll a little bit lower, we see that Battery Life and Charging Case and Controls are from the same article on, on Forbes. And this is why Google is showing this twice in the top. The surprising thing for me, at least, is why is Google not keeping the same order that it uses to, to generate that information? So it's should have started with Hongi Cat, then followed by Sweetwater and then Forbes. But for some reason, it does it differently here. So it's probably interesting to figure out how it actually takes all that information, whether it's based on some sort of domain authority or something else. Now, if we scroll a bit, a little bit lower, we see where Google is taking or the AI is taking the actual product information or selection of the products. Um, so it's from all of these pages, websites, and then we have specific models that Google is showing in the shopping graph and where that comes from. Let's use this one as an, as an example. If we have Bose QuietComfort uh, earbuds 2 True Wireless, the information on that comes from Tom's Guides and PC Mag, or a selection of the product has product comes from there. Now, if we click onto that, and it doesn't matter if we click onto that from here or from the actual more compact view without expansion, 
it it brings up pretty much the same stuff. We don't see any Tom's Guide and what was the other one? Uh, PC Mag in that little panel on the side. We see Best Buy and Bose and Amazon, which are the actual shops. So Google is um, is sending you to buy those products. And we have Bose actual product specification or tech specification. And then we have top consideration and this nowhere near, um, this nowhere here, uh, Tom's Guide or PC Mag. So I think it's a pity because the only place, even though it's based on th those two websites that provide information to pick that product, which I'm assuming this is why they're here. They're nowhere granted any space or any uh, search state on the panel. And the only place where you can find them is either by expanding that actual thing or without expansion, you have actually scroll in this little carousel to the right to find the mention of those two websites, which I think, honestly, Google is stealing the information, repurposing it, and then not giving enough credit to those websites. And obviously we have the big, big issue for CNET, for example, where I don't think many people will actually scroll down that much. If they're just window shopping, they will probably focus on these products, which is a kicker for those products. And wherever Google is sending people to buy those products from, to read more information, but then it's a big bummer for CNET and all these other ones here that their traffic will probably drop significantly after introducing something similar to that.